So getting into game development. Game development is cool, but so what's the big but with gaming? Gaming is perceived as being fun. So people are attracted to it. It brings a lot of people into the industry, which devalues the people involved in the industry. And it also makes it harder to get into. Now, I'm not saying you're not going to make good money as a gamer or a game developer. Of course you will. But because there's a lot of people interested in it, there's a lot more competition. It's a much more cutthroat industry. I have a friend who works for some of the biggest in the world. And if a game doesn't hit the numbers, everybody gets axed without mercy. So yes, if you're into gaming and you want to get into game development, I encourage you to do it. What's cool about development in general is that you can pursue one type of development. And if it doesn't work out for you to pivot to something else, it's quite easy. Because once you understand how to code, you understand how to code, you understand how to code. So again, remember that basic rule. When you have an industry as perceived as fun, as perceived as uh, cool, and so there's a lot of demand for it, this will make competition much more difficult. And so it could also drive down wages as well. It will make the industry much more cutthroat. When people are more desperate for the professionals in a particular area, the whole equation changes. So I'll give you a very extreme example. In software development, COBOL programmers, this is the language that is used to uh, basically control all the mainframes. So many big institutions, banks and government bodies still rely on these old mainframe devices, these big, big, huge traditional computers, if you will. And all the COBOL programmers, they've all, they're all retiring. So if you want to learn how to write COBOL, there's probably a lot of jobs there for you and high paying jobs because simply there's a lot of infrastructure out there in the COBOL world, but very few people want to get into it. That said, you have to check that out. I'm not saying drop everything and jump into COBOL. It may be the type of programming that you want to poke your eyes out or something. I don't know. It's not necessarily something I would want to do, but that's just me. You may find it really pretty cool. So I would take a look at that if you're concerned about getting a job. Again, I'm not saying go for COBOL versus game development. I'm just trying to illustrate the example how supply and demand affects salaries and job availability in, well, in any sector, not just programming, not just IT. I hope this is useful. Bye-bye.